The Defence Acquisition Council has approved proposals worth 7,965 crore rupees for modernization of armed forces under 100% Make in India initiative, that includes 12 light utility helicopters from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, Link Su-2 fire control system for frontline naval warships from Bharat Electronics Limited, midlife upgradation of Navy's Dornier 228 aircraft by Hindustan Aeronautics. The procurement of 13 Mark 45 naval gun systems from the US has also been scrapped due to high cost, and will be replaced with upgraded super rapid gun mount being manufactured by Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited. After the arrest of a serving Indian Navy commander for leaking sensitive information related to upgrade of Kilo-class submarines, the Central Bureau of Investigations probe has now revealed that information on at least three more projects of the Indian Navy was leaked over the past year, and more Navy officers are likely to be arrested in the coming days. The Navy is also conducting an internal inquiry in the matter to find out how the information had leaked despite security protocols and advisories, so that it can be fixed. According to latest reports, the Tejas Mark II fighter jet program is on track, and will complete the critical design review phase by the end of 2021, and the first prototype will roll out by August 2022. The progress made so far includes the completion of cockpit configuration, sensors, antenna, procurement of raw materials and their availability, and detailed design of various subsystems and the finalization of standard operating procedures. Currently the feasibility studies to integrate the BrahMos and GN Astra Mark II missile is ongoing. The program director and chief designer of India's Tejas Light Combat Aircraft program has said that India is in the position to start work on the development of unmanned sixth-generation fighter jet. Developing an unmanned sixth-generation platform without featuring the requirement for human on board will help the designers to go for much more radical designs of the platform. Meanwhile, defense analysts have said that the unmanned AMCA Mark II and the Aura UCAF program will need to be demonstrated first, before India can think about removing the equation of a pilot from the aircraft completely for a sixth-generation platform, and artificial intelligence that can pilot a sixth-generation platform without requiring an external remote human pilot will also require a significant jump. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will commission the first P-15B destroyer on November 18 in Mumbai. Navy officials have said that the rest of the three P-15B destroyers will also be launched by 2022. The fourth Calvary-class submarine INS Vela will also be commissioned before the end of this month by the Indian Foreign Minister or by the outgoing Navy chief. India's private sector firm SSS Defence will begin manufacturing and testing small arms at its new 200 crore rupees facility in Bengaluru in January 2022, that will enable the production of 20,000 rifles and 3,000 sniper rifles per year. This facility will also house a first-of-its-kind 150-metre-long underground weapons testing tunnel to determine the effectiveness of rifles, carbines and sniper rifles and gather crucial tactical data such as muzzle velocity action time and consistency. The company is also setting up an ammunition manufacturing plant that will start operations in 2022. PLR Systems Limited, which is a joint venture between Adani Group and the Israel Weapon Industries, is working on its first order to supply the Masada 9mm pistols to the Indian Navy's elite marine commandos. The Indo-Israeli joint venture is already manufacturing the complete range of products in India, that includes the Teva, X-95, Galil sniper rifles, Negev light machine guns and Uzi submachine guns. Russian President Vladimir Putin will visit New Delhi in December for the next edition of the India-Russia Bilateral Summit and the two sides are all set to sign the military technical cooperation document for the next decade, a mutual logistics pact, 
the local production of 6.5 lakh AK-203 rifles, 12 more Su-30 aircraft 21 MiG-29 fighters as well as 400 more T-90MS main battle tanks. The Indian Army has started a high-altitude airborne exercise along the northern borders in eastern Ladakh sector, to validate its rapid response capabilities at an altitude of more than 14,000 feet, and low temperatures of minus 20 degrees Celsius. The pre-acclimatized troops from 50 Para Brigade, along with specialist vehicles and missile detachments were transported through C-130 and AN-32 aircraft from five different mounting bases, to validate capture of designated objectives with speed and surprise.